فتنه به شهادت The body of Sana Jale arrives in his hometown in a casket. Hundreds of pro-government demonstrators in the northeastern city of Kermanshah pay tribute to the 26-year-old student allegedly shot and killed during protests on Monday by Iran's opposition movement. Iranian authorities say Jale was a regime loyalist, a member of the Besiege, a pro-government militia group. They posted online what they said was Jale's Besiege ID card and blamed anti-government protesters for his death. But Iran's opposition movement says the government is spreading lies about Jale for propaganda. An opposition leader's website says Jale was a theater student and among the protesters on Monday when gunned down by security forces. The website describes him as a pro-democracy activist. A picture shows him posing with the late Ayatollah Ali Hossein Montazeri, a reformist cleric and fierce critic of the regime's leadership. On Tuesday, a supporter of Iran's opposition movement told CNN's Anderson Cooper Jale was a classmate and one of the protesters, not a regime loyalist. Oh, unfortunately, one of our friends um, from the University of Art, uh, Fane Jale, was killed yesterday. And uh, we, are, uh, I mean, we have entered a phase of serious street mourning. Iran's hardliners had an answer for those who refuted Jale's loyalty. The editor of Iran's leading hardline paper suggested Jale mingled with reformists because he was a secret informant. Iranian authorities say Mohammad Mukhtari was the second person killed in Monday's demonstrations. He too was killed by protesters, they say. Another claim the opposition movement calls a lie. Monday's protests marked a comeback for Iran's opposition movement after nearly a one-year absence and renewed its bitter rivalry with the regime. Entangled in the conflict, the identity of two young men who lost their lives. The deaths of Sana Jale and Mohammad Mukhtari already escalating tensions between the government and the opposition movement. The opposition movement calling for more demonstrations on Sunday to remember these two men. Obviously, it's highly unlikely the government is going to approve setting the stage for another potentially explosive day. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Islamabad.